Hi, this is Terry Vanoy, and welcome into my online classroom. This is Math with Mr. V. I want you to remember that while you watch these videos, these lesson videos, I am going to talk you through the concepts and then present a problem for you to try. So grab a piece of paper and you can pause, rewind, even fast forward anytime you'd like. So good luck. Let me know how it goes. All right, here's a challenge problem for you. This is kind of a summary of theorems 8.1, 8.2, and 8.3. So I'm given the right triangle ABC and I draw the altitude. The altitude splits the hypotenuse BC into two segments, BD and DC. BD is 4 and DC is 7. So the question is, with this example, what's the measure of the two legs of the right triangle when the altitude is drawn? And what is the length of the altitude? So I'm going to call the altitude X. We're going to be solving for that. And I'm going to call one leg AB um, Y, and I'm going to use the variable Z for the other leg AC. All right, first of all, let's solve for X. Now, you remember that the altitude is the geometric mean between the two parts of the hypotenuse that are formed. So X goes in those two places in my proportion, and 4 goes in one place, and 7 goes in the other. So when I solve for X, I'm going to cross multiply x squared must equal 28. Answer, x equals 5.29, which is 5.3 approximately. All right, remember you can pause this movie at any time. Let's solve for the y leg. Now in theorem 8-3, it says that the y leg of the original right triangle is the geometric mean between the near part of the hypotenuse and the entire hypotenuse, which is 11. So y squared equals 44, y equals 6.6. .6. All right, let's solve for z. Well, z is the other leg of the triangle. And so we're going to be putting that in the geometric mean position in our proportion because that leg of the triangle, Z, is the geometric mean between the near part, which is 7, and the entire hypotenuse, 11. So Z squared equals 77, and Z is going to equal 8.77, which is 8.8. .8. All right, I hope you're able to figure that out. All right, how'd you do? Hopefully you understood the concepts. Um, remember that um, if you want a related video or a concept that's similar and or just extra practice, email me and let me know. I can record a new one for you and we can customize it. Once again, this is Terry Vanoy in my online classroom with Math with Mr. V.